Hill to Wall Street. This is Politics and Profits with your host, Rick Amato. Welcome, everybody. I'm Rick Amato. It's time for Politics and Profits. We follow the trends on Capitol Hill that lead to the profits on Wall Street. We expose the hard facts of what your elected officials are doing when you're not looking. And we show you how you can profit from their politics. The American dream is alive and well, and you can be proud to call America your home. And now, it's Rick Amato. All right, welcome back to Politics and Profits, everyone. I'm Rick Amato. Well, as I'm sure you're well aware by now, 83-year-old comedian entertainer Bill Cosby has been set free. His sexual assault conviction case has been overturned on a technicality. Uh, He had been serving a three to 10 year uh, prison term starting in 2018 uh, based upon, as I say, uh, conviction of sexual assault. Uh, He's now a free man. This, This decision was made by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court Join me this time with some comments and some uh, uh, observations. Is the author of Stop Hiding, Start Healing, Discover How to Be Set Free from the Pain and, sh- and, sh- and, uh, pain and Shame of the Past, uh, so you can live a life of, me- of meaning and purpose. Let's welcome back to the show Craig Brown. Craig, good to have you with us again. Thank you, Rick. Good to be with you. And Craig, you've overcome a lot of pain in your past, uh, as you indicated and told our audience last time you were on the show. Uh, so you know what you speak of. You, you are an expert, if you will, in that field. What's your, uh, what would be your advice for Bill Cosby right now as he enters freedom? Oh, wow. Well, um, anytime, anytime you're in that position uh be it uh what is he what what was the uh known he's known as the country uh, the father of the country something father, like or something yeah like yeah that. good point i mean that's an amazing uh, mantle to be carrying when uh behind the closed doors he obviously had some major major struggles uh as we well know and as were exposed in the uh courtroom Uh, and the tabloids everywhere. Um, And it's interesting. Uh, um, I mean, you have both sides that are just uh, at odds, right? And here he is, um, admitted in court that he did what he did. uh, And um, it was abuse. And it was a major, major character defect in his life that he had hidden rather than get healed. And as a result, it manifested itself uh, in many other ways. Um, it was involving multiple, m- multiple women. Uh, he was very strategic and it was um, absolutely horrible uh, what he did to these women. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. That. Okay. So he's caught, uh, brought to trial, regardless of the technicality technicalities or what have you, and he served some time. Uh, But at the same time, when you're at that level, that false reality, that total false reality that you have created, and Rick, you and I have seen this all throughout Hollywood and CEOs and politicians, when you have that, and I don't know, maybe there's narcissism, but when you have that false reality that you have developed and you feel that you are completely untouchable then you can get away with it with anything behind closed doors and then you're exposed and then you're going to jail my hope and prayer is that that two and a half years up in upper pennsylvania uh did affected him in some way shape or form to be introspective right to uh, uh, to do an inventory uh, first of all, apparently he did not want to participate in the um, program that they offered for sex offenders. Jeez. Didn't want to. Didn't want to even be a part of that. So there's still some level of denial, right? There's still some level of of false reality and also hiding. You know, I'm not going to admit. I'm not going to step out of denial. I'm not going to participate in that. That means I'll have to admit that I am a sex offender. So it. It doesn't appear that he's had any major heart change unless, you know, weeks from now, he uh, 
is forthcoming and has developed increased self-awareness and is willing to share about, you know, his struggles and go get help. Stop hiding it and go get healing. Is it your uh, take, Craig, that there, there's just no moving forward until he does become introspective? Absolutely. No, there is not. The whole point of recovery, Rick, is uh, is, introspe- is, uh, is developing self-awareness and doing a real depth, in-depth look and uh, sifting of our past and looking at and drilling down on what, uh, what causes us to do what we do, truly. Now, this isn't just addiction. Anger issues, jealousy issues, bitterness issues, resentments. I mean, there's a catalyst somewhere. What is it? Well, the whole point is to get to the root issues and to get in deep, drill down deep. And that's what I, you know, I've been involved with for, for the last 22 years in Christ Center Recovery. Uh, not only did I do it myself, and which was unbelievably healing and helpful, and just observing others and helping others, guiding others in how to do that. Because a lot of times we uh, we embrace our pain, and it becomes part of our identity, and we prefer not to deal with that. Uh, uh, that's just natural coping mechanisms we developed early on. Why do I want to deal with this hurt? Why do I want to deal with this pain? I'd rather drink or do drugs or be in pornography, escape all that, and do so and not deal with it. And that's natural. That's a natural tendency, but it's a harmful tendency. We're, we're down in less than a minute, Craig. How far did you have to fall personally before you became introspective? Rick, I had to be at the depth, at the deepest, darkest place in that pit of hell I was in until the pain level was greater than my fear. That's the first chapter of my book. When the pain is greater than our fear, we're ready to get help. And I was deep into it. I was in a very, very dark place. But miraculously, I was able to be set free from that pain, that shame, that guilt, that hurt, and that addiction. All right. Craig Brown, author of the book, Stop Hiding, Start Healing. Um, and the subtitles discover how to be set free from pain and shame of the past so that you can live a life of meaning and purpose. Uh, once again, it's valuable information. We thank you for joining us, weighing in on the Bill Cosby situation. And I know it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it. The information, the advice you provide by looking at the Bill Cosby, I'm sure it provides a, a, a glimmer of hope in, in well uh needed information to a lot of our viewers out there in other aspects of their life. Absolutely. Absolutely. It will. All right, Craig, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Rick. Broadcasting from the Libertory CPA Studios. Back with more after this. Politics and Profits with Rick Amato is brought to you by Libertory Accounting, the IRS problem solvers. To find out how Libertory Accounting can help you, call 877-6-SOLVER. That's 877-6-SOLVER.